But what's happening now is we're making another transition. We're making a transition that's very different, though, than the transitions we made in the past. We're making a transition not to information technology inside the company to help do the things the company did. We're now seeing information technology embed itself in products, in products themselves. And what this next generation is doing is it's changing everything again. Not only is it changing products and what they can do and how they work uh, and what capabilities they have, but it's also, ironically, changing the inside of companies once again. We have a double transformation going on now. Not only are products changing, but the way we do things are changing once again. The things we learned in the previous generation about skills, about jobs, about the nature of work, we're going to have to relearn again because of this tennis racket. Uh, and the stories of every single product uh, virtually uh, in the economy. We are in the early innings of this transformation. Some of you may have heard the term Internet of Things. Well, Internet of Things is now the term most used to describe what I'm talking about. The idea is we have these things connected to the Internet. But we don't actually like the term Internet of Things because that makes it seem like the Internet is the news. But actually, it's not the Internet that's the news. It's the things that are the news. It's the transformation in what products are, how they can be used, how they create value, what functionality they have. That is the next revolution. And in general, it's a much more positive revolution for America. Because here, with this next stage, we are well positioned to win. Because the US has unparalleled skill sets in the things necessary to navigate this next generation of transformation. But probably the most critical thing that we don't have right now is enough people with the skills and the ability to actually do the work necessary uh, to realize this opportunity. So this tennis racket is where Lorain County Community College has to get. We have to build the talent pools, and this cuts across every single field, whether you're a nurse or a salesman or in any other field. We're going to have to build the skills and talents that will enable us here in Lorain County, but also across America, to realize the power that we have in this transformation. So let's talk a little bit about this tennis racket and what's different about it and what that means. Now, a smart connected product is, uh, sort of goes like this. It, it, it's a mechanical product because most products need to be mechanical. If they're actually a manufactured good, they're a good. This tennis racket has strings, it has, it has its frame, it has a handle. All that stays the same, at least mostly the same. But the unique thing about this tennis racket is it's not just a mechanical object. If you pry open this little door in the back, which you probably can't see very well, inside here is a bunch of sensors which uh, Dr. Church just talked about. Uh, and these sensors allow you this tennis racket to kind of measure um, how hard the shot was, whether there was spin, the nature of the stroke, and a whole variety of, of information about your play, the play of this tennis racket. Um, and in order to do that, it needs to have batteries in there, and it needs to have, have those sensors, uh, and it has to have some software 
that's actually doing the calculations to translate the forces into uh, the actual uh, uh, you know, implications for what this tennis racket is actually doing. Um, this tennis racket is also connectable to the internet. Uh, if you have a smartphone, you can, you can sync up this tennis racket with a smartphone. Um, it's, it uses a, um, a Bluetooth connection because they didn't want to load this racket up with he enough heavy batteries to allow you to do direct connection to, your, uh, to, your, uh, to the internet. But if you sync it to your uh, uh, smartphone, then that smartphone can connect this tennis racket uh, to the, what's called the cloud. Up there in the cloud, which is a, a server, a computer server somewhere, could be in Europe in this case. This is a French company. Uh, the information being generated by this tennis racket get, is, is being transported up to the cloud. The cloud is a, uh, a set of IT infrastructure running on a remote server that's gathering uh, data and sending data to this tennis racket. Um, and you see on this slide some of the things that the cloud is doing. It's, it's storing the data in a database. A very different kind of database than we're used to dealing with because of the nature of the data that is coming in. The frequency, the quantity, and the variety of the data. There is a, pl a software platform that's uh, running a bunch of applications so for example, with the data from this tennis racket, you can do all kinds of analytics about your play, the nature of your shots. You can compare your play with other people with a racket like this, and you can compare data across players, uh, um, and, uh, and, and so on. All this functionality and all this analysis and all this uh, insight is being taken advantage of in this cloud. Um, and, and you can tap into that very, very easily and see it in real time. Now, what this picture also shows is that it's not just the data from the racket now that we have. It's the ability to take the data being generated by the rack, uh, racket and combine that data up in the cloud with data about lots of other things. For example, from the CRM system, the Customer Relationship Management System, uh, there can be data on me, the player. So you can combine the data on you, how tall, you know, how, how heavy, you know, what nationality, uh, how old. Uh, you can combine all that data with the data about the play and, get, and sort of start comparing and contrasting and, and looking at that data. You can get weather data. So you, you know in that particular location, you know, how hot was it? Was it raining? Was it humid? All kinds of external data and other company data can be combined for the first time in history with rich data about the actual product itself, how it's being used. Uh, and all that gives us enormous power to understand things that we've never understood before. It creates enormous opportunities for functionality and insight that we've never had before. Um, it's this tennis racket that's changing everything. It's changing everything about what a product is, about how we operate a product, uh, about what we know uh, about products, and everything about how companies then have to do things differently. <laughs>